and I want to uh, touch on the subject of um, <clears throat> wounds and gifts. And so when I'm talking about the genius and the soul, uh, the other th so everyone has genius. The genius of each person has gifts that are intended to be given by that person to the world. And so, you know, genius can take any form. A person can be a genius at, at bit what we call business, which is a legitimate genius that can be used for the benefit of other people in the world, or it can become a power issue that is used to abuse people and abuse the world. That's how that goes. Uh, but a person can have a genius for any of the creative arts. A person can have a genius for empathy, and they can become the kind of person who attracts other people's troubles and can empathize with those troubles and can bring calm to that person because of their own deep sense of compassion and empathy. Genius can take any kind of form. And if you imagine a culture like modern cultures, materialistic, um, outward-aimed, um, masculine dominant or stuff like that, and here comes a child that's, uh, whose genius is empathy, that child's in trouble. Um, they won't be recognized. Uh, there's not enough subtlety, there's not enough sense of the inner world to, to recognize that. And so someone who has that kind of genius might have trouble finding their calling or even feel that they're never seen for who they are. That can happen. But in terms of the big story, they have that genius. They have that core orientation that gives them a path in life that gives, I call it sometimes, the thread of genius, um, which is going to pull them towards a meaningful destiny if they pay attention, if they listen to voices that you're not supposed to hear and so on and so forth. Um, but each person has that unique orientation of gifts and capacities that is their genius calling, um, and so on. And then each person is also wounded. This is again like night and day, like dark and light. The world has balance in it, but it's balance of these extremes that tends to be what's happening at all levels of the world. And at the level of genius and giftedness, the balance is woundedness. And so uh, the old story is everyone who's born is wounded. And, um, and there's no way to avoid it. And the parents who decide, they get this idea, and they say, I don't want to wound my child, so then they protect it, and they wound it by overprotecting. So it happens. Um, but the wounds tend to be as specific as the genius. Um, so uh, the wound will fall in a place that is related to the genius. Uh, Carl Jung, the great psychologist, said, genius hides behind the wound. When we have been doing all, a lot of work with at-risk youth and at-risk communities, the genius is behind the wound. You start working with the wound and all of a sudden the genius shows up. And so whether it's a community or an individual or a family, there are wounds and the wounds are always specific. And so in ma many native traditions, they say all elders are healers not because they all are on the healing path, but because they all have healed their own wounds. They're not, the elders aren't the ones that avoided the wounds, they're the ones that fell into the wounds and found the healing inside the wound, found the destiny inside the fate. Um, and so it is our fate as humans to be both gifted and wounded. And um, so, you could say just as physical growth involves growing pains, literally, uh, and healing requires unusual treatments, uh, rites of passage involve pains and woundings that become more present and more conscious and that also leave marks. So I want to come around to the initiatory wounds, which you find all over, all over the world in the traditions of all kinds of cultures. but. Underneath that, behind that, is the idea that everybody's wounded. And so when um, on a given path, let's say, what happens to a person, the more we go down the path that we're called to go on, theoretically, the more our genius becomes revealed and more conscious, and we can see and feel how it should be used, and then the more our wounds also become more evident and more conscious. And so the path, no matter who it is, no matter what the path is called, 
It's a matter of continuing to awaken the genius and the internal gifted elements and continue to heal the wounds that come along with it. I hope that makes sense because it's a really odd thing. Um, someone asked me once, well, don't you ever get healed of the wounds? And I think the answer is no. <laughs> no. That, that it's, the idea isn't to be completely healed and then leave the world. No. Especially now when the world is so much trouble. The idea is keep waking, uh, making more conscious um, the internal genius and the calling and working the path, keep healing the wounds as they keep coming up and keep going back to the world, not trying to get to some other world. I hope that makes sense. And so going back to the troubles with power, so a person who, who is well on the path um, also has to be well on the healing path or eventually it tips over. And think of all the modern stars who start out as the geniuses in acting or in playing music or whatever it is, and they quickly rise to a, high, a, a place of high celebrity that has really never ha happened before in history. Um, and all that attention uh, may intensify their genius and their capacity, but it also reveals and intensifies their woundedness. So then you see people who have it all and are adored as stars. And you and they and they're in they get depressed and they have abuse uh, substance abuse problems and they can't stay in a relationship and they act out in all kinds of ways because as the path opens as the genius develops the wounds also come to the surface and require healing and that as far as I can tell is true for everyone and that's what kind of happens in the work the capacity to awaken, to find, to support genius comes out, and in the work, one's own wounds and the wounds in the communities and the wounds in other people become more, more evident and need more attention. And so uh, healing is part of any calling, I would say, which means we're all called to be healed and then turn around the statement from before and say we're all called to be healers. We're all called to be elders and all elders are healers. And so when a person gets far enough down their path, whatever the path is, they have a healing capacity because that was part of the genius in a way. Um, and that healing capacity came from dealing with their own, our own wounds.